Franklin, Steely Dan, Quincy Jones, Dwayne Allman, you name it. If there's somebody you think of, he's on there, and he's a really nice, nice man. And he doesn't have his regular bass, which I think makes him nervous. But, <laughs> but, um, but it's wonderful to have Chuck here, and in a minute we'll give you time to ask him questions. So I um, one of the challenges of doing this is I get to, get to introduce a man from Japan who speaks English as well as I speak Japanese. So I'm going to get this right. So Shuji Apple Juice Sato, and if any of you saw him last night, he can play his ass off. And he's a member of Bloodist Saxophone, and he always looks like he's really relaxed. And they, they're on a bunch of um, bunch of records with other artists like uh, Big J McNeely, and uh, really have that jump feel. So it's wonderful. So thank you. Thank you. So the next guy is named Johnny, but he calls himself. Two two because that's what his dad called him. I don't get it. <laughs> Scares me. Um, but he's from Dallas, like from the very beginning, and comes from an incredible tradition of family members playing and people in and out of the house playing. That's just like unbelievable. And if you ask him, maybe one of the questions things to talk to him about is how the hell did he get to play like this? And if you ask him he'll tell you it just happened. Mm -hmm. And it happened really young. And he's another guy who started out as a drummer. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty uh, pretty amazing. So thank you for making the trip from Dallas. Thank you. So, yay, too, too. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know who Smiling Bobby is, he, um, he's originally from around Helena, Arkansas, um, which is um, one of those two places that's really the heart of the blues, um, and um, I've had the chance to see him play in Chicago, where he lives a bunch of times, and he's a real West Side, wonderful guitar player, and he seems completely disinterested in anything but playing guitar and singing. Is that true? <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now here goes the magic moment. I have no idea who you are. Yeah. Are you Carl? Are you Carl? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I just didn't get to talk to you beforehand. So, um, for those of you who don't know Carl Weathersby, um, it's kind of amazing because he came out big time with um, with a whole bunch of recordings on Evidence and other labels and exploded on the scene. And uh, used to play with Albert King. I think he's probably at about seven or eight CDs at this point? No. Not that many? Fifteen? Wow. Yeah, i got to buy some CDs. Um, and, um, and I, if I remember right, this is like really reaching, but you're related to Baby Duke Caston? So that's pretty amazing, going back to Willie Dixon. And um, so you're another guy who's here from far away. You live here now? Yeah. In Austin? Far away, Wembley. Okay. All right. So um, so the way this can play is some of you probably want to know technique stuff, and some of you probably just want to ask questions, and these guys probably don't want to talk. They just want to play, but we'll do whatever works. So you guys have things you want to ask? You guys have things you want to say? How do you like Austin? <laughs> <laughs>